Let's get a feel for how the domain name server works on a recent Ubuntu system. So first we need to log in. And when you log in, we'll open up a command line terminal because uh, we're going to do all our operations from the command line. So I have done that by right clicking on the desktop and then let me make a bigger font. I might as well go full screen while I'm at it. So there are a couple of important files on your system. One is called etcresolve.conf. Now on older Linux systems, you didn't have all this information at the top. You just had an important thing here. Name server 127.0.053. You're more likely to find your name server is not a 1271, which all 127 addresses are on the actual machine, but 192.168.1.1, for instance, would be a common thing. Um, might point to your your uh, wireless modem, which is attached to your internet service provider, for instance. Uh, recent systems use a system D service called system D resolve D, which works in a more complicated way. It makes a DNS server on the local machine, uh, which caches the results of previous searches. Uh, so uh, we're not going to get into the details of that, but uh, that's a recent development that you'll find on newer machines. Another important file is etc. hosts. This file is consulted before the domain name server is consulted. So you'll see, for instance, here at the bottom, we've got two machines on the local network. We give their IP addresses and a name that we can use to get at them. And you'll notice you can have more than one name tied to an IP address. So for instance, I could do ping Theodore and that's going to take me to 200, or I could do ping uh, beaver, and it takes me to the same machine. Now, if I want to look at something which isn't specified in that file, or in fact, I can do that, host uh, Theodore, and it will go look at the file, but if I want to get something out on the internet, I could do most linuxfoundation.org, and I get the both the IP4 and the IP6 addresses here of the Linux Foundation and also information about the mail services provided by the Linux Foundation. I can do uh, another utility for similar information is NSLOOKUP. So I'll do that, nslookupfoundation.org, linuxfoundation.org. And you see I got the same basic information a little more compactly I got here's the IP4 address and then the two IP6 addresses. Another utility I can use is dig. So let's do diglinuxfoundation.org. And you'll see I once again got the information about the IP address and then a lot more information about the search to find that server. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with DNS and some of the files that are associated with it.